Hello and welcome to a special video. This is a FIFA 17 experiment and uh, it, it follows in the footsteps of a lot of fellow career mode YouTubers have been trying these kind of things on their channel. I thought why not have a go? I, I came up with an idea, a scenario that I haven't seen floating around the world of career mode football. Uh, so I'm going to bring that to you today. It is an all-star league. So what I've done is I've picked 10 of the top leagues, well nine, and uh, we have taken the best players throughout their leagues, put them all into their winning sides. So uh, the Premier League will be represented by Chelsea. Um, Germany represented by Bayern Munich. And uh, this just comes into a little bit of a FIFA 17 experiment idea. You know, the guys like Jared HD, B Monus, Rich Lee, uh, FNG have all been doing these kind of experiments. Guardi FIFA as well. If you don't know any of these guys, do go and check out their channels. But uh, yeah, I thought I'd just have a crack here at a FIFA 17 experiment. So it is our All-Star League. Let's go and have a look at the 10 teams that are built uh, for this competition. Okay, so representing Spain is Real Madrid and they do have an All-Star lineup. They have the likes of Ronaldo, Suarez, Messi, Rodriguez, Iniesta, Modric. Uh, then we have Marcelo, Ramos, Godin, Carval, and Oblak is the goalkeeper. It is a 23-man squad for all teams. Uh, they have Bale, Neymar, Cruz, Griezmann, Testegen, Elba, Pepe, Benzema, PK, Rakitic, Busquets, and Isco the Disco, all representing uh, the Spanish league here and a fairly strong side in this 10 league campaign. Let's move on to the next team. All right, representing Italy will be Juventus, and they have Higuain and Dybala up front. Uh, Cuadrado, Marquisio, Hamsik, uh, Perisic, Alexandro, Cellini, Bonucci, Elves, and Buffon between the sticks. The bench is made up of Kadira, Icardi, Bazagli, Pjanic, uh, Mertens, Nijngolen, uh, Licksteiner, uh, Benatia, Baka, Reina, Strootman, and Bonaventura. So another pretty strong side there representing Italy. It is Juventus. Side number three is... Representing Germany is the almighty Bayern Munich, and they're led up front by Robert Lewandowski and Aubameyang. Then we have uh, Robin, Videl, Thiago, and Marco Royce on the left. Uh, Alaba, Hummels, Boateng, Piszczek, and Neuer between the sticks. Their bench is made up of Ribery, Muller, uh, Socrates, Bellarabi, Modeste, Leno, Martinez, Costa, uh, Hawedes, Bender, Hernandez, and Goetze. So uh, that's three really strong teams into this competition. Let's move on to the next one. Representing France, we have AS Monaco. Up front, we have Cavani and uh, Lacazette. I know that he has recently just moved to Arsenal, but uh, at this stage when I was building this, um, he was in the French League. Uh, then we have uh, Dia Maria, Verate, uh, Silva, Matuidi, and Payet on the left. And three centre-back formation here with Glick. Uh, Silva and Marquinhos. Rufier is the goalkeeper on the bench. It's uh, Subasic, Perrin, Pastore, Fakal, uh, Bellatelli, Draxler, Ben Arfa, Dante, Kuchowiak, uh, Mortinho, Lucas, and Volbuena. Okay, so that is the French team representation. All right, representing Portugal, we have Jonas up front, uh, Brahimi, Carvalho, uh, Silva, Pereira, uh, Pizzi. Semendo, Jardel, Marcano, uh, Teles, and Patricio was the goalkeeper. Substitutions, Edison, uh, Faiza, Dost, Coates, Corona, Andre, Martins, Pereira, Philippe, uh, Mitroglou, Leon, and Nilsson Lindolf. Uh, so that is the Portuguese side uh, representing Portugal's league in this competition. Next, we have the Turkish league being represented by, uh, is it Bestikis? I'm not sure, I've probably murdered that, but they've got Eto up front, Schneider in the cam roll. Uh, then we have Bruma, uh, Ozikup, Topol, and Quaresma. Lopez, Skirtle, uh, I can't pronounce his name, Adriano, and Muslera between the sticks. Van Persie on the bench with Fabricio, Dorica, So, uh, Batala, Lunds, Hutchinson, Inan, Visca, Abubakar, uh, Tosun, and Barr. All right, representing the Russian league is Spartak Moscow. They've got Smolov up front, uh, Giuliano in the cam position. Then they've got Dani, Mvila, uh, Dzgoev, Promes, Promes uh, Smolikov, Tusky, uh, Kaluka, Denisov, uh, Akinfeev between the sticks. And then Kritsyuk, 
uh, Dezuba, Fernando, Tosic, Shatov, uh, Fernandez, Ivanovic, Samadov, Mauricio, Fernandez, Gradvist, and Jonathas. Uh, they are representing Russia. All right, representing the Dutch league is Feyenoord, and they have Jorgensen up front with uh, Elia and Trahore in behind them. Then we have Klaassen, uh, Schoen, and Guardado. Uh, then we have Knoglo, Moreno, Sanchez, and Karsdorp, and Zoet is the keeper. Then we have Tornstra, El Hamadi, Junes, Veltman, uh, Vermeer, Dolberg, uh, Ziesk, Ziek, I don't know. Uh, Bottigen, Vla, Vilema, Propa, Propa, Larson, and Hala. They've got an extra man. Um, I couldn't really decide, so I gave them the extra uh, the winger there just in case because they are a little bit under the weather compared to some of the other big teams in this competition. All right, representing uh, the Premier League is Chelsea, and there's Ibrahimovic and Aguero up front with Ozil slipping in behind. On the left, we have Hazard and Sanchez on the right, Pogba and De Bruyne in the midfield. Uh, then we have a three-man prong at the back of company, Koscielny and Adderweld. Uh, Anderville, oh, don't know, I'm murdering names here, left, right, and center. De Gea is the goalkeeper. Courtois, Fabregas, Eriksen, Coutinho, uh, David Luiz, Harry Kane, Diego Costa on the bench, Mustafi, Silva, Herrera, uh, Mkhitaryan, and Lukaku. So uh, a very strong Premier League representation there. You'd feel that they would be one of the favorites in this simulation. And last but not least, we have a bit of a mixed bag here. This is what I'm calling the World All-Stars team. So uh, players from the rest of the leagues around the world, free agents and the likes, are making up the Western Sydney Wanderers here in the A-League. Uh, Jared HD, uh, I had a bit of a chat with him, and he said that this is the team that he wanted. And uh, we've also put in one of his favorite players from the A-League. But here is the lineup we have for the All-Star team. Uh, David Vieira is up front with Oscar slipping in behind. Uh, then we have Tyson. Uh, Schweinsteiger, Witzel, Marlos, uh, Serna, Milado, uh, Rakitsky, Taglifico, and Pyatov between the sticks. So a lot of uh, Shakhtar players in this side. Then we have Berisha, which is uh, Jared HD's man of the hour. He wanted him in this squad, so I thought, you know what? I'll do that. Do your favor. We've got Javinko, Paulinho, Kaka, uh, Howard, Kusha, Dendoka, Akore, Dos Santos, Tielemans, Perlo, and uh, is it Gignac or Gignac? Not too sure, but uh, I think they're a four and a half or five star team as well. So that is the 10 teams here. Let's jump in to the season and uh, we'll discuss what's going on then in the experiment. All right, so we've put these 10 teams into the A-League. The transfer window has been disabled for the first part. So uh, these teams may go out and make transfers in the second window. I won't have any control over that. We will take control of the Western Sydney Wanderers here in this competition. And uh, we're just going to simulate through and see who is the best league uh, if they have all of their players in, in a bit of an all-star competition. Now, the joy of the A-League is that it's a relatively short competition. It goes into a final system, uh, and then there is eventually a playoff at the end for a trophy. So we can really see who is the best team in this, in this season uh, simulation. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put a straw poll, uh, a little vote up top. Do you want to see this as an actual series on the channel? We'll take a hold of the Western Sydney Warriors and play a full season against all of these teams and, uh, you know, get a look at all these players in action. But uh, for now, let's get simulating. Uh, we'll check in at the halfway point, see how the teams are looking, and uh, we'll see you then. A few moments later. All right, checking in at the halfway point of the season on uh, some of the statistics going on here. Now, Gareth Bale has got the, the leading goal scorer with nine, met with Hazard from Chelsea with nine. Ronaldo is in there with five, so Real Madrid putting in some goals. Marlos from the Western Sydney Warriors has five. Uh, what else? Lewandowski with four. So, yes. It's very interesting, very interesting. Uh, Assist-wise, Ronaldo has four, Busquets has four, and Harry Kane for Chelsea has four. Um, let's have a look here. Western City Schweinsteiger has an assist. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, Benfica Patricio has four clean sheets. Reina for Juventus has three. Um, Courtois for Chelsea, three. Tim Howard has been getting played over Pyatov, obviously, and he has two. Uh, Real Madrid have a couple as well. Uh, yellow cards and red cards we don't really care about. So at the halfway point of the season, it's Chelsea and Spartak Moscow fighting it out at the top of the table with 23 points apiece. Um, the Turkish side 
in Bastikas is at the bottom. I only picked up two wins and seven points, but uh, it's quite tight there in the middle. Interestingly enough, Bayern are down in eighth position. Um, so uh, the interesting one there is probably the Russian side sitting in a second position. Let's get on with the second half of the season and see how it finishes up. All right, so here is a big play. Chelsea actually ended up selling Eden Hazard to Juventus in that transfer window. Um, so that is some interesting piece of business. You wouldn't really think that they would uh, make those kind of transfers in the A-League, but uh, obviously they felt it was worth, I think it was 80-odd million they transferred him across for. So uh, Hazard playing now for Juventus. A few moments later... All right, so taking a look at how the top scorers finish up, and Hazard made the move to Juventus and got himself 13 goals. Bale uh, takes the top goal scorer with 16, Ronaldo with 12. So you'd assume Real Madrid went pretty well this season. Um, Alisson Tyson there for the Western Sydney Warriors with seven apiece. Um, okay, and assist-wise, nine goal for Juventus. Ronaldo for Real Madrid. Busquets with five assists for Real Madrid. Cavani for Monaco gets five. Kane and Ericsson with five apiece for, oh no, four for Ericsson. Okay, okay, interesting stuff, interesting stuff. And clean sheets, it was Courtois for Chelsea. Well, you would have thought De Gea uh, would have been the number one keeper, but it looks like they've played Courtois in front of him. So let's go and see how the season finished up. Right, so this is how it finished up at the top of the table. It is Real Madrid and Chelsea, neck and neck, but uh, Madrid take them on goal difference. Uh, Besiktas finishes last with 20 points, but they did pick up four wins. Western Sydney Wanderers there with the six wins. Uh, so Spartak Moscow fell away there in the second half of the season to finish sixth. So quite tight there on points. But this isn't where the season finishes here in the A-League. Once uh, we move through this, it goes into a playoff scenario, and these top six teams can still have a chance to win the A-League. So let's go and see how that went down. Okay, so here it is, and uh, Real Madrid beaten by Bayern Munich after finishing top of the table. Chelsea uh, get past Juventus on penalties 4-3. They meet off in the final, and Bayern Munich takes the A-League title with a 2-1 victory over Chelsea. So uh, that is where we're going to wrap up this experiment. Uh, if you want to see this in an actual career mode scenario, and we'll take a hold of the Western Sydney Warrior Wanderers and see if we can uh, push through this. But uh, interesting there that the top league in FIFA 17 career mode is the Germans. Hopefully you've enjoyed that. We'll see you next time on the channel. I'm Sparring DK. It's 5 o'clock somewhere. And you, have a good one.